Hey folks, nice day today, it's 4 degrees, uh, at the moment it's kind of nice, there's just a gentle breeze, every once in a while the sun tries to peek through the clouds, but we do have a, a <laughs> weather advisory, it's supposed to get really really windy today, 80 km per hour gusts, <clears throat> and then overnight early morning, it's supposed to ease off, and then Monday afternoon, the wind picks up again. 90 km per hour gust, so... <laughs> it doesn't sound like it's going to be all that nice. Uh, I haven't really paid too much attention to the forecast as far as precipitation goes. I know we got more snow coming. I don't think it's a lot, but... Friday night... Early morning hours of Saturday, I heard something hit my window. I looked out and it was raining at that time. But, you know, our, <laughs> our stuff's melting down pretty good, but it's still here. In the puddle in the doorway. It doesn't really look a whole lot worse than it was. I checked the back already. There's nothing around my wood yet. Great. As long as it keeps melting slowly like this, everything should be good. I did plan on coming out today to do some work on that shelf at the back. Unfortunately, I slept in. And then when I woke up, I had a whole bunch of messages waiting. <laughs> Just so you know, if you contact me through Facebook or email, don't expect a response right away. I, d I usually get to that once a day. And if you message me just before I go to bed, and you know, I'm, I'm not going to deal with it until the next day. There just isn't enough time for me to do that with everything else that I've got going. I will get to it. Just don't expect an immediate response, that's all. So I just... <sighs> There's stuff that I need to do every day, and it just it takes so much time for me to do stuff. And there are some days I don't even get a chance to deal with anything else, so it just takes a little bit of time. And even if my my YouTube comments, sometimes it takes me a couple of days even just to get to those, so... Just be patient, that's all. <laughs> uh, so I, I found my spool of disc that has disc number 613 on it. My Walmart tags are now in my computer. Um, <laughs> I got looking through them. I kind of forgot uh, really what most of them were. So I will say this, it will definitely be um, <laughs> an age-restricted video <laughs> when I show that. Um, I'm not going to have a choice on some of it. And this isn't anything, uh, it's nothing intended to be that way. It's just when, when Walmart creates names for their shelf tags, they use short forms in that. And some of the short forms, um, combinations of them and just a short form of specific product names it's, it sounds like something else <laughs> and a lot of them when I when I am immediately saw them it's like I I pictured the second meaning right away and just looking at some of them I I can't even think of what it was I was thinking when I got this this was I haven't worked there since 2006, or 2007, February 2007 is when I was forced to quit because of my illness. So that's like four years ago? No. Fourteen years ago. So, <laughs> you know, it's been fourteen years since I've, I've been, you know, dealing with these. So I kind of forget, you know, a lot of what I was thinking at the time when I spotted those specific tags but there are a lot of them uh, I still have sheets 
because what I did was I just I glued a whole bunch of them to an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and just scanned the whole thing and then cut them out individually in the computer. And I've got a whole bunch of sheets that I still haven't done that with yet, so I'll be looking through those. That'll take a little bit of time. Uh, but I've got enough. I could probably do two videos. <laughs> I have a lot of them. So, but if you're ever in Walmart or any store, actually, um, when you're shopping, just take a look at the, the names that they have on the shelf tag. Some of them are quite humorous. Uh, I had one... I don't even remember what it's going to say there. So... <sighs> I just walked down to Timmy's. Uh, I needed to get out today, even if I don't do anything out here. I just, I needed to get out. So I walked down to Timmy's. Uh, it's not getting any easier. <laughs> My legs are like roasted here. Um, so I've reached 70 points on my rewards card now. And I still got 12 something I think on the Tim card. So what I'm going to do... That's 6 more copies. That's almost another free copy. I need 70 points to reach a free copy. So I used my free copy today. So my rewards card is completely empty. There's nothing. Zero points. So I think it's time to start a new account. So I'll continue using the screen capture of my Tim card so I can keep using it until that money's gone and then start a new account and I'll be using a rewards card from that account to accumulate because that's you know 60 points is almost a free copy and I don't want to waste that so I I probably already done that anyways when I couldn't use my app just paying with credit card so no, I missed out on a free copy with that. <laughs> but at the time I didn't know what was going on with the Timmy's app, so I just I wasn't able to use anything. That's what I'll be doing with that. Um so I started my new fruit juice. Peach peach mango peach clementine. Peach clementine, I think it was. That's good. It's pretty tangy, but it is actually pretty good. I got looking at the label on it, and it actually has apple juice in it too. It it just says juice from concentrate, and it lists the different types of juice, and apple juice is listed with it, but it's not the number one juice like it normally is with the other ones. So It's got it in it, but I don't think they're using it as a base. It's more of a filler, I think. <laughs> but it's pretty good. Yeah, it's another one that I would buy again. So I've I've still got six left of it. I've only had two. So it'll be a little bit before, you know, I get to my strawberry banana. And what's interesting is it says right on them. Because I checked it one time to see if you're supposed to shake them because uh, the exotic mango that I started with, it was pretty pulpy. And most of the pulp seemed to be at the bottom, so I got looking to see if you're supposed to shake them first. And I, that's the only one I really looked at. The other ones don't have any pulp in them, so I didn't think it was really, you know, made any difference. But I did look at the exotic mango, and it does say to shake well. Um, problem, is, <coughs> problem is, the juice boxes are pretty much filled right up, and there's no airspace in them, so shaking them really doesn't have any effect. There's <laughs> nothing to really, you know, get things moving around in there. But I also noticed it says chill before serving. Or serve chilled or something like that. So what I've been doing is it's pretty hot in my room still. And, you know, it's just warm juice I can handle. But, you know, everything that's supposed to be cold is actually better, or obviously better cold. So what I've been doing is when... I take one out of the package and I put it in the window behind the curtain where it's nice and cool. <laughs> and then when I'm ready to drink one, I take that one and I put another one back in the window that way. It's not cold cold, but it's it's cooler. You get the cool air from the window. So that's be working out that way. Um, 
seems to me I have something had something else I wanted to talk about, but I can't think any. I didn't make any notes because I just I wasn't even planning on making a video today. But I come back and I just I just needed to take a break and rest. <laughs> So hopefully we don't get much more along the lines of snow. Um, I haven't looked at the 14 day forecast for a while to see if you know, anything's really changed, but the temperatures were pretty steady, you know, just slightly above the freezing mark. So things are going to continue to melt. So even if we do get more snow, then you know, the chances are there that, you know, it's not going to stick around long anyway. So, I'm just... I'm just beat. And I'm not really ready to come out of my cocoon yet. So... I'm still trying to recover. <laughs> oh, I... But, um... I don't know. I guess that's it. I just be a short video today. Just me talking. Yeah, I got nothing else. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.